Good evening, everyone. I'm Kristen Farley. Thanks for joining us. Knoxville police following some new leads tonight in the shooting that left a 12 year old boy dead. Here's what we know so far. KPD saying persons of interest are in custody connected to the shooting death of Jawan Latham. We're told officers are questioning them, but no one has been charged at this time. Meanwhile, we're hearing from the victim's mother. She describes her son as funny, smart, caring, and athletic. WATE 6 on your side reporter Brandon Rook sat down with Joanne's mother this evening. And of course, Brandon, she's saying her child was just taken too soon. Yeah, Kristen, Joanne's mother says her son was a caring kid who did not deserve this. She wants justice for her baby boy and is hoping that Knoxville leaders can attack this gang problem. I still can't believe it. I'm still waiting on my baby to come home. Delandra Porter tells me it's not easy saying goodbye to her baby boy, Juwan. It's just so surreal. It's just, oh God. As she holds hands with her two daughters, she says Juwan was a loving, outgoing, and caring kid who loved basketball. She says he had aspirations of making it to the NBA one day. Didn't even get a chance to make it. It was just taken from him. He was just taken from him. Jawan was an innocent victim caught in the crossfire between rival gangs at Danny Mayfield Park in Mechanicsville. Police say he was shot while sitting in his father's car waiting to pick up a friend before heading to the movies. Last night there was a vigil at the park where he was shot. Hundreds of people from the community showed up. It helped a lot, at least as much as it can help, just knowing that. He had such an impact on people's lives. That's why they would like for witnesses to speak up. I just want justice served. I would like if somebody would just come forward and just admit to the wrongdoings, take responsibility for their actions, and realize that they have devastated a family and taken something so precious. Juwan's mother says she hasn't heard from the police chief or mayor, but she's looking forward to meeting up with them over the next few days to talk about ending gang violence in this community. And Brandon, our hearts just hurt for that family tonight. Yes, yeah, sad story. Thank you so much, Brandon.